Hi, Ray Pointer here, and welcome to another one of my videos showing you how you can use ChatGPT in the context of insights and market research. So, today we're going to be looking at checking and cleaning data with ChatGPT. And remember, if you find these videos useful, please do subscribe to the new MR channel. Um, there's lots more videos coming along. So, the first thing I should say is the best way to clean data is not to use the web interface. I'm going to be showing you what you can do with the web interface today. But obviously, if you really want to get into it, you really want strong tools, then you should be using programs like Python or whatever um, and use them in the context of ChatGPT's APIs. But there are lots of things you can be doing and you should always be checking your data file. So once you've taken care of the security issues, and we cover that in another issue, I'm using ChatGPT-0, um, the team version, which defaults to not learning from the things that I put in there, uh, but you need to make sure that you're covered. We can talk about how we can do some checks, and I'm going to show you today some really basic checks. Are there duplicates? Is there missing data? Is there personally identifiable data? And do the responses look okay? And I'm going to show you a simple example. So here is a, a very small data set that I constructed myself. Um, and if you look at it, you can see that the first respondent looks okay. The second respondent in there has got some missing data for the NPS rating. Participant 3 um, is repeated twice. There's a duplicate in there. Participant 4 has got some personally identifiable information in their open-ended comments. And if we look at Participant 5, the question was, how was your visit? And they said, Monday. Doesn't look like a good response. So, I upload the data file, I click on the, the paper clip, and up goes the data file um, as an Excel file. And I ask it to simply show it me on the screen, because this is a good starting point to make sure that we've got that loaded and ready. And it, if, if I've got a 1,000 people or 2,000 people, it's just going to show me the first five or 10. First question, are there any duplicates? And it says, yes, there's a duplicate entry in the data. Here is the duplicate. What would you like me to remove it? So it's a very sensible suggestion. Yes, I ask it to remove it. Then I say, are there any cells with missing data? And it goes through the data file, it says, yes, there's one cell with missing data in the Net Promoter Score rating column. Would you like me to handle this in different ways? So it would put in a, a mean if I wanted it to. It, we could use different data imputation techniques. But for this case, I would say, no, leave it as a missing data. In another case, I might say, delete the respondents with missing data. Now, I give it a much more complicated set of thinking. I want to remove any responses which might be from bogus participants or participants that are not concentrating and giving valid answers. Are there any values which suggest a participant is not giving valid and useful information? And it comes up with two cases. So I wouldn't want to auto do this because if you look at the two cases, the first one is participant one, gave an NPS rating of three. How was your visit? Okay, that's fine. I'm not worried about that one. Participant five, NPS rating of three. How was your visit? Monday. Yeah, I'm going to ask it to remove ID five and tell it that ID one is okay. So it's a manual process. Obviously, if I've got a thousand people, I might be doing this manually for 15 or 20 of them. Or I might flag them in an Excel file. So I'd ask the uh, ChatGPT to put a new flag into the column, export it as an Excel, and then I can eyeball all of the ones that it says might be a problem. The final clean data has been exported. So I ask it to export this file as a CSV file. I could export it as a Google Doc. I could export it as an Excel. But for this simple example, I've asked it to export it as a CSV file. So I hope that super short, super simple video has been useful. Um, if you find it useful, please do subscribe to the new MR channel. As I say, 
the focus of what I'm going to be doing over the next few months is all around using AI and at the moment ChatGPT so that you can turbocharge your insights and your market research. Thank you very much for listening.